What's up guys, my name is Lungile. Today I'm going to be talking about how to hire a video editor in South Africa. Okay, so when you're looking for a video editor, you can look online or you can look at local South African uh, production groups. You can either also uh, hire, get the services from a production company, but they might be a bit more expensive. So sometimes it might be better to go with a freelancer. Okay. So the things that you need to think about when you are hiring a video editor is do you want to hire local or do you want to hire uh, overseas? So there are pros and cons for each option. I mean, hiring overseas, you might struggle with upload and download speeds when you're sending the files over and when you're downloading them. So it's something you have to think about. Sometimes it might be cheaper. Sometimes it might be more expensive depending on where you're hiring the video editor from. But if you're hiring local, it can be also have pros and cons in terms of um, the pros would be you can drop off a drive, you can sit with them, uh, you can uh, give them feedback via phone or when you're sitting with them, and they might not be cheaper, as cheap as overseas people. So it's all about what you're comfortable with. If you're looking to hire people overseas, you can go to these sites and these sites are like Upwork, Fiverr, and onlinejobs.ph. So it's Upwork, Fiverr, and onlinejobs.ph. And if you're looking to hire a video editor locally, uh, you can go to uh, these Facebook groups, uh, SA Film and TV group, the resource group. There's a whole lot of freelance editors there. So the most important thing I think maybe that is on your mind is probably how much do they cost? So, the base uh, rates for editors in video editors in South Africa start from 2,500 Rand per day to 4,500 Rand. So, 2,005 would be more for juniors. So, uh, it also depends on the project, but like the base number is 2,500 Rand a day. And for people that are more senior, it goes up to 4,500 a day. So, I just want to put it out there because it's usually something that people think about. That's the one thing that they want to know first, like where can I get one and how much do they cost? And obviously it all depends on the project that you have. So if you're hiring a video editor for a project, you need to think about the footage that you're giving to that person. Sometimes people will ask you a lot of questions so that they can quote you properly because not every job is the same. For instance, if you are want to have music video edited, it won't take a day to edit. Music videos usually take like four days because they have so much footage and they're so intricate. And you can imagine if you're hiring a junior editor for 2,500 grand, that's going to be times four, and that's around 10 grand. If it's a senior editor, that's 4.5 times four for a music video. So you also have to think about the project that you are doing. When you're going through the hiring process and you're getting all these applications and you're getting all these emails and all these showreels, the first thing to do to sift out the shitty people from the good people is to ask them for specific projects that they've edited. And it will help if the projects are similar to what you're looking for. If you're looking for music video editors, then ask them for music video project references. Ask them to send you links to music videos that they've edited. If you're looking for a corporate video, you do the same and then ask them if they have their own machine or laptop so because that helps a lot you know if they can work from home they can edit nicely and you know they'll be able to do your changes for you like whenever you need them the second thing is the next thing you need to ask them is what programs do they use so just make sure when you ask them about the programs that they use programs like Premiere Pro, Avid, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve any of these four programs are good. If it's anything less than that, they might not be pro editors. Unless maybe um, they're using really basic, basic uh, um, programs. But you want them to use these top four programs. Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Avid, and DaVinci Resolve. These are the good professional softwares that are used by many professionals for video editing. This is when you'll be able to sift out and see who's a pro and who's not a pro. Another thing, I mean, I know not everyone understands production. So I think if you are just a normal person who's not into video production, you're not a video professional, one thing you can try to do is get examples of the video projects 
that you like so for instance if you are looking for someone to edit a marketing video get examples of the marketing videos that you like and send them to your applicant so that and say listen this is the type of video i want because as much as you can communicate something it's always better to have a reference to kind of paint a clearer picture to the video editor and tell them this is the type of video i'm trying to make this is the type of feel i want the video to have another thing that you need to think about is music for your video editing a lot of people don't know this but you can't just use a popular commercial track on your video editing projects if you're going to post it online that doesn't work you do not have rights to that music so you have to think about what type of music you would want and usually if you don't have access to a music library or you would have to ask that video editor to use a library like free copy, copyright free music so that's just like music you can get from youtube so you cannot use commercial music just on any track on any video editing uh, job because you do not have the rights you might get yourself in trouble and you might get sued so the only exception you can make is if you want to use commercial music for a video editing project is if the video project is not going to be online anyway if it's a viewing video for art for for your, your company like an internal video you're not going to put it online anyway or it's just for a presentation just to show someone then you are in the clear but if it's a you're gonna uploading the video to any website or any uh, social media site you cannot use commercial music so let's say you've sifted out five video editing uh, uh, applicants and now you want to see you're not sure what, which one to choose but you know that these five guys or girls are like awesome you know so the first thing you can do is you can um, look at the application forms and uh, um, think about have they answered the questions that you've asked them have they sent you references do they know how to follow instructions are they CVs neat are they portfolios neat is it clear is it concise these are the things that will sh help you sift out the people that are like a little bit unprofessional from the ones that are professional another thing a lot of uh, clients like to ask people to do a video editing test before they hire someone i mean i'm against it because i feel like you wouldn't ask a plumber to come check if they can actually fix your tap and then test if they can do their job i, I don't think it's very uh, uh moral you know um but if you are wanting to test a video editor i think it's better if you um you pay them half their rate because they are working when you are doing a test for them so i mean if you're looking to hire a video editor maybe full-time you can test them out for a day and pay them a half day rate and make sure also they're working for half a day so that you can make sure you hire the right person but also you will make sure that you're not exploiting that person so that's what i think about video editing tests i'm very iffy about them but sometimes i understand some people want to you want to hire people that you trust so it all depends on what you want to do. But once you hire that video editor, you need to give them a client brief. Client brief is basically a job spec of what you want. A creative brief is basically a document that outlines what you want the video to be. This is where you will outline when you want the video, so like the deadline, how long you want the video to be, um, what the important key messaging should be in the video, um, uh, what are the important facts that should be in the video, the what, hows, where and hows, um, what, what you want people to take away from the video, um, the emotions that you want the video to invoke, do you want people to feel happy, heartfelt or inspired, um, do you, what do you not want in the video, you know. Another thing that you need to think about when working with a video editor is how complex is the video. Does the video have uh, complex animations? Is it having graphics and footage? You know, things like these. The more you make, you add more uh, requirements to the video, the more expensive it gets. So, it's a few things to think about when you think about the pricing for that video. 